Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Thick Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna share with you new changes that I didn't mention in my previous video about Android 10 and also share with you my thoughts about the things that still needs to be improved and hopefully Google will improve it in future releases or maybe with the release of the Pixel 4. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here is the theming options of Android 10. So if you go to settings in the first page, you might get a suggestion saying customize your pixel, try different styles, wallpapers, clocks and more. But when you tap on it, it simply takes you to the wallpapers app which only allows you to change your wallpaper. So you may wonder why Google is adding a suggestion like this in settings while you cannot change your theming options. So let me share with you some exciting news about that. I have read an article on the XDA developers website that talks about Google Pixel Themes app for customizing Android 10. That's simply a hidden app they managed to find in one of the beta versions of Android 10 and also they got it up and running and shared some screenshots to show us how it looks like. So the link for the full article will be in the description if you want to check it yourself but let me show you the screenshots here. So first, when you tap and hold on your home screen, you are getting an option called the styles and wallpapers and instead of only wallpapers like before. And when you tap on it, you get this screen where you can change your icons shape. You have here the circle, the teardrop, square and more. You also have the option to change the accent color. Okay. And customize your font. Also, you have the ability to change your grid size. You have 3x3, 4x4, 5x5. And here you can change your wallpaper. Also, you have the ability to change your clock style. On the lock screen, you have the default, which is the digital, bubble, analog, and type. So that's hopefully will be the customization options in the next release of Android 10. Maybe this will be released with the Pixel 4. So we are not sure. So let's wait and see. But this doesn't mean that you cannot customize your Pixel device for the time being. If you have Android 10 and you go to settings, advanced and then developer options, keep in mind that you need to have the developer options activated and to scroll all the way down. You have theming category where you can change the accent color. As you see here, it changed and you also have two fonts to choose from and the icon shape. You have more than one shape to choose from. So let's say we're going to change to teardrop and let's go to the home screen. As you see, the icons now is different and you can play around to choose what style suits your taste. Another small update is you will get a notification if there is a moisture in your uh, charging port so if you connected any accessory or any cable to your device and there is a moisture inside you will get a notification and the device will block using this accessory until the moisture is gone another new feature called sound amplifier that you can find under settings and then accessibility and then you scroll down, you will see sound amplifier. You can turn that on. It simply uh, amplify the sound of the environment around you if you are using a wired headphone. It doesn't work with wireless headphones. Uh, also to activate it, you need to have the accessibility menu turned on as well. And once you connect your wired headphones, like I do right now, I'm connecting here my Pixel Buds, and you swipe with two fingers from the bottom of the screen like this, you get a notification sound amplifier is active. Here you can choose the amount of sound you want to hear from the environment around you. You can increase or decrease. You can fine tune to suit your hearing experience. Also, you can adjust each side separately if you want to the left and the, and the right. Also, the amount of noise reduction, you can make it high if you want to minimize the sound around you or you make it low, which gives you more sounds from the environment around you. You can also choose the source of, of this sound, either the device mic or the wired headphones. 
Next is the haptic feedback you get in the camera app. So if you are in the camera app and the phone suggests night sight for you. So let me try to do this. Yeah, as you see here, try night sight. And you get this uh, suggestion with a little nice haptic feedback. Next is the ability to share your Wi-Fi password using a QR code. So if you go to settings, network, Wi-Fi, you will see the gear icon beside your network name. And when you tap on it, you have two options for get or share. When you tap on share, it will ask you for the pin or the fingerprint. And you get this nice QR code where you can share with your friend. He can use his camera to connect you to your Wi-Fi without the need to dictate him your Wi-Fi password. Also, the security updates in Android 10 will be pushed through the Play Store not through the settings as before, which means you are getting them as soon as they are available, which is much faster than before. Next is the new privacy options. So if you go to settings and then go to privacy, now you have the permission manager, which includes all the permissions in one place. And there is a new option under the location permissions, which allow you to only allow location access while using the app or all the time or deny it completely. And this new option is only added to the location permissions. It doesn't show anywhere else. So for example, the camera, you can either allow or deny, but you cannot choose only while using the app. So it's only for the location permissions. Another option under privacy settings, if you hit advanced and then you go to ads, now you have the ability to opt out of ads personalization, which means the apps is not able to identify your preferences and push personalized ads for you. So you can activate that if you uh, are worried about your data not to be shared with any of these apps. Next is the family link app. So if you have a family account like I do and you downloaded family link from Google Play Store, it gives you a variety of options to choose from and how you manage your family group. So for example, I have here my son's tablet is on the family group and when I tap on it, I have the option to locate the tablet to know where is he and also I can allow him, uh, I can also install for him some apps from my phone. Also, I can monitor what are the activities he's doing on his tablet and how many minutes he used it per app. Okay. And also I can set up a screen time where he can use the device only for a specific period of time in certain days if I want to. Also, you can restrict some apps you cannot allow him to use. So you see allow app here, you can turn this off. And finally, you can play sound if the tablet is misplaced anywhere across the house. Next is the battery and there are a few changes here. So if you go to settings and then battery, now you see a different battery icon and the font is a little bit different. So it looks a little bit better now. And when you go to battery usage, it's actually exactly the same, nothing different other than a change in the font. Also, uh, the adaptive battery now works better as per the release notes of Android 10. So you can read more about that. It should be a lot smarter now and saves more battery life. If you pull down your notification shade, it gives you an approximate time when your battery will die. It says here until 2.45 AM, but I don't rely on this because I tried it before and it was not accurate. Hopefully it will improve in the future. Next is the new Easter egg game that you can reach if you go to settings and then about phone, and then Android 10. It's here, I'm sorry. And tap a few times, you get the Easter egg. And also there is a game inside this Easter egg, but you need to do some steps to achieve this. So for example, you need to get this O, or number zero, and then get number one. And if you tap on it a few times, it will rotate with you and then you put it inside the zero, it will be the letter Q. And you will also notice that the stripes at the background are moving now. So this is the same name of Android before Google uh, changed the name to Android 10. So this is now Android Q. So you can do the same shape 
by putting the one inside the zero. And once you do that, once you tap on the icon, you are getting a little nice game, which is a puzzle game. I actually don't have any idea about how to play this game, but this is how you can get it if you want to. Here are all the changes I managed to get my hands on in Android 10. And this is my second video. If you missed my previous one, you will see the link in the description or you can click the card showing now on the screen. Also, I want to talk about the things I don't like about Android 10 and I'm looking forward to see them in future updates. First is the dark theme. It's not showing in all native apps. So for example, if you go to the Play Store, you will see it in white. If you go to the Play Music, it's still in white. Also the Google Assistant is still in white. Uh, however, I managed to get Google Assistant in dark theme in one of the beta versions I installed on my device and it's gone for some reason and I'm not able to get it back. So I'm looking forward to have a dark theme for all native apps in the future. Also, the screen recording is missing from the final build of Android 10. However, it did exist in the previous beta versions, so I'm not sure why it's gone now. I was waiting for it to be released in the final build of Android 10, so I'm hoping I will see it in the future updates. Also, the squeeze feature of Pixel devices on Android 10 is not fully utilized, and I hoped for more. All you can do with it right now is to squeeze to launch your Google Assistant or silence notifications in case if you got any. But there are endless ideas that you can use with with this neat feature like for example squeeze to take a photo a squeeze to put your phone on silent mode or a squeeze to let's say play and pause music if you are playing music so I'm not sure why Google is just sticking with two basic functions while there are a lot of things that you can do with it there is a quick shortcut that no longer exists in Android 10 gesture navigation so if you are let's say on the third or the fourth page of your home screen and you want to jump to the first one previously you can double tap the home button and it automatically takes you to the first page but now after implementing the gestures you cannot do that and you have to keep scrolling until you reach the first page Another small visual issue on Android 10 sometimes if your phone is on dark theme and the app you are using is on dark theme as well and you open this app you might get this white background for a second and then it goes so I'm expecting this background to be dark as well however this is not a big issue. So that's pretty much it for today I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and let me know in the comments what do you think about Android 10. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.